But I'm a creep. How we doing, guys? We all right? I'm just making myself look presentable. Yeah. Even with my little friend. Got my friend with me today. Happy to have my friend with me today. Mary, first of all, and I said this the other day, but we don't want to talk about wigs. Because if we want to get down to the nitty gritty of things, you look like a motherfucking clown in your real wigs that you wear on a regular basis. I wear my wigs for fun. It's something that I do to make people laugh. I create characters with them. They are not something that I am going out in public. This is me. And I look well put together. You can have your opinions about my channel, about my content, but the one thing you can't come for is somebody else's looks. Um, so you can, whatever, if you want to insinuate that I'm a fat ass in a wig, that's fine. Um, but I'm not because I don't wear those on a regular basis. I wear them sometimes for my channel and that's it. Um, I am a king. You're absolutely right. I'm one of the best things that's ever happened to this place. Feeling better, much better in myself. I even went for a walk today, but I going to the doctor again tomorrow because those antibiotics did not clear my ear. I was talking to my friend um, down at the corner shop and she said she had the same thing and she had like a couple of um, a couple of um, antibiotics and she said, maybe you just need another antibiotic, Jan. And I said, I think I do because I'm sick. I'm sick to death of being sick. I'm finding myself raring to go, do this and do that. And uh, But I'm still like a bit clogged. <laughs> but we have to laugh, guys. We have to laugh. So I'm bringing this video for you because I want you to have a good chuckle. A really good chuckle. The same as I do. With your nasty ass wigs that you throw on before you get on camera. Because that's what life's all about, isn't it? Let's have a laugh. Let's have a laugh. If I want to come on live every single night and I want to beg my subscribers for money, then that's what I'll do. Um, and if she's here, which I mean, I'm sure she is, because apparently she tunes into all my lives. Hi, Jan's Reviews. Um, yeah. So that's, that's what we're going to talk about. And I want to talk about... Um, I want to talk about... Like... A number of things. So let's just start with the joke, the joke of, not the joke, the, I don't even know like how to, how to say it, but, cause I don't want to give her too much recognition. Like I don't want to spend too much time on her, but I'm just kind of like, I'm not really understanding how she's like a thing. Um, because I think that she is crazy. Like, I think that there are literally, um, things that maybe she's dealing with, um, on her own that are causing her to have this type of behavior. But I think she also... Welcome to Story Time with Jan. This video is going to be a compilation of Story Time with a few little bits and bobbies in between. And before we start the story, I need to say that I've had to chop and change some of the things in this video. Mainly because our man, we know who this is about, has decided to put a copyright strike on my friend Jamie Austin's video. Now, all Jamie does is basically film the, um, no, he doesn't film it. He does live streams and he may have shown a bit of Mr. Buffoon's live stream while he was doing it. No way! Is it copyrightable? So guys, be sure, be careful at the depths that this guy will seek to. And not only bringing down Jamie Austin, 
but also bringing down those of us that are sick to death of his antics. And especially me, because I tell you guys, I've had a whole week of this person talking very badly about me for a whole week in his live streams. So I think it's time I gave him a taste of his own medicine. What do you think, guys? And Be careful on her mental health. You're going to get thrashed for it. I'm not, I don't know nothing about her mental health. Um, I, I, I'm not speaking from that. I'm speaking that I think that she, I just don't know that she makes decisions based on like what she actually believes to be true. I think she makes a lot of her decisions based on um, things that she thinks that other creators will like from her if she says them. And I think she is a mouthpiece for certain creators. And um, it has become to a point where she, it is now. And I'm not gonna go live every night and discuss him. I've got better things to do with my time. I've got Love Island. I'm watching Love Island, guys. So. We'll get on with this. So please, as I said, I, I, I want to give Jamie a, a, a shout out because he's been an absolute darling to me. And also, all my other pals, you know who you are. T-Trigger. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I do that. You see, I set myself these little tasks that I can remember everyone and I can't I'm too old guys my mind's too over the plate no anyway <laughs> I've said tea trigger tea trigger's been going through it as well with some blooming girl called Saya I might get to her in another video not talking about her today guys no I need to sort this one out anyway so and also uh, who's been having a hard time is um tea time my lovelies at tea time Leave them alone. I tell you, they're the most genuine people you'll find on, on YouTube. And they've been going through it, guys. So give them a watch as well. And also, here's the other one. Mind of a Miracle. I, I tell you, she's so adorable. And she's been going through it. So there's this, there's this group of people that seem to be targeting us smaller YouTubers. They've got nothing better to do. Since Houston finished, they've got nothing better to do, guys. So it's like, we're going to attack the small ones. All right, carry on. We're ready. We're ready for you. <laughs> um, she, who are we talking about? We're talking about Jan's reviews. She has this weird infatuation with me and thinks that I think about her or care about anything that she has to do or say. I think that her content is horrible. I think that her videos are edited horribly. Horribly. I think that um, she doesn't put coherent thoughts together. I have tried to give her the benefit of the doubt. I've been very polite to her before she started this mess. She's come into my lives and I've said that, you know, I've told people to go subscribe to her channel. She's never once said anything polite about me. She's never once um, said like, and here's the thing, she isn't coming for us because we did anything to her. She came before, came for me before I even knew who she, like, knew that she was a thing. Um, she's hinted that my channel is irrelevant. I have more subscribers than she does. Not that subscriber count matters. I think it's so silly to like compare yourself to another channel because if she wants to get to the nitty gritty, she's busy over there kissing tea time to ass and they have way more subscribers than she does. And if she thinks that she's relevant in Tea Time's life, and Nikki truly, and they, they're truly like there to help her and grow her channel, bye. Um, because if we have seen anything, that's not gonna happen. Go away. And you can say whatever you want. I own my stuff. You're the one who does it. Implied that like coming to my lives is like going to a wake because everyone seems dead. Okay, guys, is everybody listening? This chapter is called Sheldon's Struggle. Sheldon's struggle was real. He barely had time for anything between e-begging and eating. His online existence was becoming fraught with accusations and hot, sweet tea. Look what my grandchildren bought me. We love you, Nana. Ah, there. Anyway, sorry, I digress. As an outsider looking at his YouTube stats, it appeared that even though his sub count was increasing, 
The views on his videos were definitely decreasing. People were beginning to speculate whether he was buying subs, which is a common activity that unscrupulous YouTubers use in an effort to appear more successful. Ooh, what do you reckon, guys? Write in the comments below. Huh, someone write in my comments below. Please, I'll always give you a flower. Anyway, I digress. Since being earmarked as an e-beggar, he continued to sit in front of his camera, scoffing food, loudly burping, sniffing, and just generally acting like a farmyard animal. Watch this. His manners were atrocious and not missed by anyone, apart from his subs who seemed to think it was okay to behave like that. Where do they eat? Do they eat out of troughs? Anyway, I digress. His subs didn't seem to mind, but the rest of the internet were appalled or was appalled. Not sure if that should be plural or not. Anyway, let's go on. His Rottweilers... He got some Rottweilers to keep people away from him. His Rottweilers, one was named Rancid and the other was named Toxic, um, snapped away at the heels of anyone who showed their disdain at his disgusting behaviour and obsession with other YouTubers. He was obsessed with this gorgeous YouTuber called Jan. I can't think why. <laughs> I like this story, do you? Um, he aligned himself with dubious supporters who did nothing but inflate his ego, therefore encouraging his narrative. Some crashed and burned, while others continued to fight the good fight across various live streams and Twitter. He tried everything on his channel. Singing and dancing and donning raggedy old wigs. <sighs> Don't look at me. Every day. <laughs> In an attempt to be comical. Uh, it didn't work. Building. Um, what's, the, what's a good song? It didn't work. Try something else. In every single way. Words can bring me down. Subtitle. The basket. The missing basket. One of his new ventures was to offer a basket of goodies to his subs. In a giveaway, when the winner was announced, there was much joy and excitement amongst his minuscule community. However... One subscriber was soon to feel the wrath of Sheldon when he discovered she had spoken out against him on another YouTuber's live stream. He addressed it in one of his videos. Fiercely, hang on, I can't read my own writing. I'm a bit like a doctor. Fiercely uh, stating he was not going to send a basket to her and that if she wanted it, she could go over to his house and pick it up herself. Well, that's very nice, isn't it? Thanks, thanks for that. This was totally illegal. And after being addressed by many YouTubers on Twitter, he was forced to retract his statement and intentions. His basket of toot was soon on its way to the worthy winner. I hope she shows us. I really hope she puts it on Twitter and says, look, this is what I got. She didn't even get a roller. And you know that stupid roller, he does his face, that was meant to be in the basket. No, she didn't get it. The other two got it, not her. But I tell you what we did, guys. She's got a little boy 
who's not very well, he's got cystic fibrosis, and Tea Trigger started a fund, um, a GoFundMe page for Candace and her son for his medication. We got loads of money in there. So happy. So go you. Everyone that's subscribed. You're lovely. Love you. Not subscribed. You can tell I'm a YouTuber, can't you? In some ways you can tell I'm a YouTuber. In other ways you can tell I'm not because I'm bloody rubbish. But anyway, those of you that donated to, for this little boy. Cheers, my dears. Cheers. Mm, 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 mm. And I have to say, even though Sheldon was told about this, was told about the GoFundMe page in one of his live streams, do you think he, he donated? No. Nah. That just shows you the calibre of the man. <laughs>600 and something videos and you're still sitting at almost 1600 subscribers so let's not let's not compare channels let's not say that my channel is this or that because if you want to talk about a snooze fest baby you've been doing this for how long and you're still sitting still sitting at 1600 so I've been here since November and I'm almost to 2000 oh. if you like this video can you please give it a thumbs up We're gonna do a little snack time with you guys. There's so much, there's so much in this book. I'm loving it. This has literally just become a channel of me fucking eating all the time. Y'all can hold off. Jan, I'm so boring and I'm so tired and coming to my lives is so awful for you, yet you stay in my lives all the time. I don't go to your lives. I could care less about you or your channel. The only time I ever came to your channel was when you made a video speaking about me for nine minutes. But I'm so boring, but yet I've helped you get content, right? That's where we're at with this is. And then you wanna go off into other people's lives and run your mouth about me. You have 600 and something videos and you can't gain a subscriber to save your life. And subscribe to Jan's Reviews, who I think I'm going to have to have my ears twinged. Twinged? What do I call it? Syringed. That's going to be fun. Anyway, till next time, take care of yourselves, my lovelies, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye for now. So go ahead and create another video about me because you don't have content because I'm your new Peter Mon and you are so obsessed and you just can't move on from this situation.
So, um, I went to, um, (coughs) 